Today I'll show you how to play any Nintendo DS or DSi game on a Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. To start, open the website desmoe.me.org. You can find the link for this website in the description of this video. Once you are on the website, locate the pages section on the right side and select downloads. Now you will see two options, namely stable releases and nightly builds. We'll go ahead and download the latest stable release as they work flawlessly. So go ahead and click the link which is the GitHub page for the emulator. At the time of recording this video, so even in 2024, the latest release is version 0.9.13 which was released on 23rd May 2022. If there's a new stable version released in the future, I'll make an updated video. Now based on the operating system you are running, you can either select the Windows EXE or the Mac DMG file. Since I'm on Windows, I'll go ahead and download Windows 64 zip version. After the file is downloaded, we now need to extract it. For the sake of this tutorial, I will use 7-zip. You can download it from the website 7-zip.org. I will also leave the link for 7-zip tool in the description of this video. Once downloaded, follow the on-screen instructions to install 7-zip on your PC. Now that you have 7-zip installed, right-click and select 7-zip and press Extract to Desmo Me. Now open this folder and launch the emulator EXE. Now after launching the emulator for the very first time, you will notice that the window is somewhat small. So to fix that, go over to view, windows, size and increase the value as per your preference. I'll go ahead and select 2.5 times. Now we will check out some settings that will help us run DS games flawlessly. To start, head over to config and select 3D settings. If you have an AMD or an Intel GPU, leave these settings to default. But if you are on an Nvidia GPU, change the 3D rendering engine to OpenGL 3.2 for a slight improvement in performance. Next, go back to config and change the display method to OpenGL. Next up, we will set up the controller. So if you have a Xbox or a PlayStation controller lying around, now is the right time to connect it to your PC. Once connected, go back again to config and select control config. As you can see, the button that's highlighted green is ready to be configured. So I will change the up button to the up button on my Xbox controller D-pad and go ahead and do the exact same thing for other buttons on a controller. Also at times the emulator might not uh, detect the controller. So what you can do is close the emulator and launch it again. If you are planning to play DS games using a keyboard, you can leave these controller settings to default. So just remember the keys assigned to different buttons. Lastly, we will now load up a game. To do that, select file and press open. ROM. Now wherever you have your DS games downloaded or saved on a PC, go ahead and locate them. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, the game has successfully loaded up. If this video helped you in any way, then feel free to drop a like. And subscribe if you like content focused around classic games, consoles and emulators. Take it easy and I will see you soon.